All right. Sounds yeah. good to me. So everybody, welcome to the Core Reporter Podcast. I'm here with my brother, Theta. Say what up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, um, you think Mars gonna sue me for that? He probably is, but um, <laughs> uh, Terrence should be uh showing up soon. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he could join the show. Our our third, our third partner in, in the show. But um, see that was good though, man. Tell me what you've been watching. What you what's been going on with you? Ah uh, man, I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, I I had a chance to watch Dumb Money on Netflix. Yo, let me tell you what it's it, it's a it's a first of all, it's based on a true story. And I think anyone, even if you're not into stocks, I think you heard about the game stop mayhem. And the whole dumb money is based around that. It's I, I'm not gonna give away no spoilers, but you know, it's about this dude named uh Roaring Kitty. It's not his real name, but it's his it's his uh social name, and it's about his initial investment, how he believed in the stock, and he ended up creating this whole movement against Wall Street. Reddit is, is, you know, it's about Reddit and how they use Reddit as a tool. It's about the Wall Street bets. It's a, it, it has, it talks about how Robin Hood was involved. It talks about how hedge funds basically was trying to fight against retail investors. It talks, it, it, it covers so much. You got to see it, but we do got a trailer for you. But you're I definitely think. gonna want to see this. So, so, but before we play this trailer, though, is it is this based on a true story? Based on true story, covered all true facts, and you can you can research it. You can. His name is Roaring Kitty. Keith Gills is his real name. You can research him. You can look it up. And people made a lot of money on GameStop, and people lost a lot of money on GameStop. And even to this day, you could even find C CNBC clips how hedge funds was losing money because they were shorting against this. And retail investors was pushing it up, so it's all real events. There's nothing fake. It's you gotta see it. All right, so look, so let's play the trailer of Dumb Money and see what the people think. How much did we make today? Five million. How much did we lose today? A billion. You got rich dudes pissing in their pants right now. Holy fucking shit. I will tell you, I've never seen anything like it. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Is the craziest I think I've ever seen. Everything okay? 11 fucking million dollars. What are you gonna do? Get a Ferrari? What the fuck? Oh, language, the baby's here. Ooh. Yo, what up everybody? Roy and Kitty here. I'm gonna pick a stock and talk about why I think it's interesting, and that stock is GameStop. I love this guy. Retail traders have hooked into GameStop. I think they think it's a good investment. It looks like there's one guy driving all the buying. <sighs> Who is this schmuck? Dumb money, man. Happy to take it. Wall Street is betting that this company is gonna fail. But if it fails, these hedge fund assholes make a shit ton of money. 70,000 people have watched this video. Poor Kitty, I love you! If he's in, I'm in. If he's in, I'm in. GameStop, those shares not stopping. Those stock is only gonna go up. When they hit, I'm gonna buy you a mansion. Let's drink to that. My brother is a fucking nerd. Wall Street must be seeing this, right? Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. You should probably dial in. Holy fucking shit. Do you have a minute? I, uh, um. Babe, how much did we make today? Five million. How much did we lose today? A billion. And yesterday? Four million. And yesterday? A billion. Babe. Yeah. We're like really fucking rich. You got rich dudes pissing in their pants right now. They're coming after you. We need to talk about the GameStop situation. Hold it down. Retail traders always lose. <laughs> You've been served. Wall Street cheated. Surprise, surprise. You have to testify before Congress. The game has changed. If it's us versus them, who you think gonna win? If it's us What's the point of winning the race if you let some dipshit steal the prize? A lot of people feel the system is broken. The whole idea of the stock market is if you're smart and maybe with a little luck you can make your fortune. Certainly not anymore. 
there's no hope for the little guy. Shit balls. Maybe now there is. Fuck yeah. Yeah, sorry, okay. sorry for the cursing, everybody, but minus the cursing, I'm telling you, it's a must watch. And to this day, the game has truly changed. Head hedge fund, now they look in the internet and see what retail investors are doing, whether they buy in, what they're into, because they're afraid, they're afraid of another short squeeze. Like it's it's you gotta see it. It's legit. All right, so everybody who's in, you know, to the stock market, and I, I'm gonna watch it myself though, because I'm into I'm into stuff that's uh true stories and true events and stuff that's happening. So I'm definitely because I definitely watched the um I don't know if it's a similar movie, but I watched the uh the, the Bernie Madoff um uh movie where okay. he talked about you know the, the whole the whole Ponzi scheme thing. So I'm in, I'm into that kind of stuff. So anybody who they put up on the screen again, that was called Dumb Money. It's on Netflix right now. Is it trending on Netflix? Yeah, yeah, I think I believe so. Let me let me confirm that. I, I believe it is trending on Netflix though. Yeah, um, on Netflix. so yeah, make sure y'all check out Dumb Money. You know what I'm saying? And far as myself, I was watching Griselda. Now listen, Ooh. listen. This one right here, I'm only on. I believe it's six episodes, but I'm only on the third episode. And this is also uh, a true story too. Shout out to Jay Brew. It's also a true story too, and uh, basically Griselda, whole basically a queen pin, came to United States. You know what I'm saying? And and uh and did a thing. I don't want. I don't want to. A lot of people know her story already, so I don't want to spoil it, especially because I didn't finish it yet. But we're gonna play the trailer for Griselda, and um, uh, let me know what y'all think. Griselda Blanco has owned Miami. Distributing cocaine. Ms. Blanco's operation has been efficient, deadly, and incredibly successful. Let's get to work. There's a lot of women. No leave the man, but not the life. I swear. I know what I'm doing. Usted se supone que es el país de los sueños. Nosotros tenemos el poder de devolverle la emoción a esas vidas aburridas. Siento así la sensación. Can I sell you a kilo? This woman. I want to cut her head off. Váyase a casa, señora. I'm gonna tell every dealer in Miami not to touch your cook. This is what that life does. You convince yourself a little more money, a little more juice, then people get hurt. No! One woman is behind all this. Pull the right card, the whole house comes down. Imagine anda preguntando por vos. Dice que hay una mujer maviosa en los Estados Unidos. La madrina. After all that I have been through. I'm not gonna give it away for nothing. Quiere ver que tan puto lejos llego. Y que yo no me saca. Pero nunca sea como ella. Se está protegiendo. Esa mujer no caminaba como la novia de nadie. Pues, como caminaba, como la jefa. Now listen, Woo! Woo! The, the, the show, the show, crazy. The show is crazy. The, I, but I, I, only thing I don't like about the show is that it's it's in, you got to read a lot. Almost like we, if anybody ever seen Narcos where a lot of the subtitles is on the screen they speaking in spanish uh you got to read a lot so that's 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 the uh that's the only thing that i i would you know that's kind of you know a downer for me when i watch it because it's like you can enjoy the movie the action but you also got to read a lot too and you know they talking fast and you got to read it but other than that 
the action is good. It's a true story. It's um, she definitely uh, Sofia Vergaro. She 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 played she played that part heavy. She played that part heavy. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anybody who want to see, make sure y'all go check it out. That's um, that's Griselda, and uh, on Netflix. I think it's still trending number one right now. You know what mm. I'm saying? So make sure y'all check that out. And uh, and that's what I watch. So that 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 right there, both Dumb Money and Griselda. That's that, that we definitely recommend those two those two movies yeah. to watch. You know For sure. Saying? For sure. See what you want to do. We also got some. Now listen, we do we 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 play trailers for uh for shows that we watch, but we got something special because we are gonna play some trailers for some upcoming movies that's gonna hit the theater that yeah. you might not have seen yet. You know what I'm saying? I want to play mine first though. You go know ahead, go ahead. Let's let's see what you're working first. with. Listen, the Bob Marley movie that's coming okay. out this year. It's going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play the Bob Marley uh, trailer right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I think this movie is going to be crazy. True story once again. And, you know, that's the kind of movies I'm about. So let's play it. Bob Marley. Won't you hear to sing These songs of freedom Cause all I ever have Redemption songs when you write that? All my life. That's a hit. Reggae is the people music. You know you're a superstar. A superstar. You can't separate the music and the message. You see, reggae music come to unify the people. Not everyone likes what you're saying. For your own safety, you need to stop. On December 3rd, 1976, would be assassin invaded Bob Marley's home and attempted to take the life of the singer, his wife, and Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that thing. Cause every little thing <laughs> gonna be all right. You like that one? Yeah. There's a war going on. Oh, I can't bring peace. I can't even get peace for myself. Rise up this morning. Smile with the rising sun. Sometimes the messenger has to become the message. Bob, I know it's dangerous. But you're the only one who can unite the people. You're ready, Bob. No guns can stop this message. I want the world to change. And that time is no. Okay, okay. You know, you know what's crazy? I didn't even know that that was coming out in February, though. I thought it, I thought it was more of a summer thing. I forgot to even see the date at the end. Yes, right around the corner. I, I like to point out that, though. Nicola does make a point, though. Why they didn't pick a real Jamaican to play that part, though? I don't know, man. I, it's a little I, question. I don't, don't want to, you know, I don't want to say nothing. I What's up, ma? I don't want to say nothing. I don't, you know what I mean? It's a little question that they had no Jamaicans to play. I, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I think you're gonna. I think there's gonna be some pushback just they, off that alone. They could have. They could have had. They could have had. Uh, Yagi play. Really, <laughs> they could have had his son. Oh, true. They I mean, had his son have, play the role. Does he have acting? You know does he have acting chops though? You gotta I don't make sure know, you got... man. But he could have studied that. He could have studied that role and played it. But I think that movie 
it's gonna be crazy. True, because they did do that with uh, Ice Cube with his son in NWA movie. He had yeah, his son yeah. play his pop. I think, so I think his son was kind of getting into the whole movie thing, but um, I think that movie is gonna be good. Bob, it come out, it come out Valentine's Day. So you know, I might have to have to slide the kids to mom's crib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Slide the clear kids to mom's crib and me and Nicola go see that. But uh well Nicola sounds like she might not see it. She tired of nah, seeing non Jamaicans play go, Jamaicans. Yeah, all Jamaicans you know what I mean? definitely gotta go support that movie. You know what I'm saying? They might have not had a real Jamaican play it, but you know, they had other actors that play, you know, you know, Tom Hanks played the uh well, 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 he was in the, the terminal, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Saying, so you know, you know, that's gotta true. do that. We gotta see the, we, we, what else. What else trailers we got? Which one? Which so, one play next? So I know, I know we had. You know, I don't know if we got any Ghostbuster fans out there. You know, that we had some classic. You know, Ghostbusters. And then they they kind of squeezed in the Melissa McCarthy one, which is a little questionable. And then they came back with a more authentic one, uh, with Paul Rudd in it, uh, little dude from um, Stranger Things. And now they got the second part of that. And I think that's what we're gonna play today. It's a really dope trailer. It's called Frozen Empire. Corey, hit that play button. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the trailer for the new Ghostbusters movie yes. that's coming out. See, you don't know what day it's coming out yet. No, nah, no, nah, I'm surprised. I, I didn't even want to look at it. I need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. I've been waiting 40 years for this. They called themselves Ghostbusters. According to these hacks, they saved the world. No eyewitnesses. And who is found to carry the torch? Descendants of Egon Spengler. You have a miner hanging out the side of a moving vehicle, firing a laser gun indiscriminately. That's a proton pack. It's completely safe. I wouldn't say completely safe. The Ghostbusters are finished. Right, well, overruled. Sustained. Thank you. You the weird guy who buys strange old things? Correct on both counts. Buddy, you just hit the jackpot. What is it? Better question is, what's inside of it? The parables tell of an unimaginable evil commanding an army of ghosts. With the power to kill, by fear itself. Like, literally scared to death? We might be looking at a second ice age. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform! Yeah! If there's something strange, if there's something weird, who are people gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel mm -hmm. good. It makes me feel good. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. I look good though. I ain't never, and, and, and I'm kind of skeptical. I ain't even gonna front because I'm a big fan of the first Ghostbusters. I don't really like when they mess with new stuff. I mean, they mess with old stuff, they you know, they do new stuff, but that looked like uh, that looked like that's good though. That looked like nah, that's yeah. good though. You Yo, know what I'm saying? And, and, and I like the fact that they got the they got the original dudes in there, too. yeah. Yeah, hold on, time out. You telling me you didn't see the first one of the new spinoff? The new generation of Ghostbusters. The one with the, the, the one second. with the ladies. No, 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 that's trash. I'm talking about <laughs> after. On, I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about afterlife. You didn't because the, the one that we just showed now yeah. is the continuation of their first one that they released called Afterlife, where they introduced the new and the old. This is a continuation of that. 
Uh, see, I, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that, but that, that's, uh, that looked good though. I'm definitely gonna, yeah. I'm definitely gonna, um, so before you, before you watch that, go watch Afterlife. Then okay. that'll prepare you for this one. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so that's what we, yeah, so that, that looked good. So anybody who's looking for March, what is that? Mar what was that? March what? Uh, I think, uh, let me, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I think it was quick. March some, what was it? March. Whatever it's coming out in March, though the new Ghostbusters, uh, yeah, new uh, Ghostbusters comes out in March. Make sure you all check March twenty second, um, March twenty second, March twenty second. The new Ghostbusters coming out, and on Valentine's Day, the Bob Marley movie coming out. I'm there. I'm there at the Bob Marley movie. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. But check it out. Listen, we got we got another movie we gonna play. You know what I'm saying? For all of my Avatar fans. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Brand new Avatar. On Netflix. Check it out. The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. And the world might never recover. The world needs the Avatar. It needs you, Aang. Our nation has destroyed everything in their path. If the world is gonna have any chance, it's gonna need Aang. Right. There goes the savior of the world. I chased down every hint of the Avatar. It's my destiny. Not someone who can stop the Fire Nation. I don't want the responsibility. You don't have to do this alone. You have me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. What more do you need? <laughs> the world needs you. Remember what it is we're really fighting for. The ones we love. I'm the Avatar, and I'm gonna save the world. With my friends. Another February. That's another February. Yo, February, yo. February is packed right now with uh with a What's with up? a lot of uh <laughs> <I'm just, I'm laughs> talking about high, man. Yo, man, <laughs> listen, you better get on the show, man. Talk about some high. <laughs> but yeah. uh February is packed with uh with some hits, in March. Man. February and March yeah. is busy. We it's busy looking, right it's, now. It's looking you know good when it comes it's looking to these, good. It's, it's definitely looking good, you know what I'm saying? So we got we had we watched Griselda on Netflix. Uh, yep, yep. Check that out. We Dumb also Money. watched Dumb Money. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Dumb Money. And now we got the new Ghostbusters. Yep. We got the new Avatar. Ghostbusters coming out in March, March 22nd. March 22nd. Avatar's coming out February 22nd, I think it said. What was it? Was it February 22nd? I, I, think so. I know, I know, I know for a fact that valentine's day uh it's coming out for um the bob marley oh yeah the bob marley valentine's day so make sure everybody check those out you know what i'm saying and uh and that's our trailers right now so see what you want to do man what, 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 what we doing we slide into the slides or yeah i think doing? i think I, I think we could jump into the slides you know let's let's get everybody excited all right let's listen everybody now, now everybody you know make sure if you if you follow in the live right now please Share the live, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we can get more people involved, especially we're about to do the slides right now. And uh in the slides, we want everybody to participate. This is a this is an interactive podcast. So when we put the slides up, your opinion matters too. We put your 
your um if you on Facebook, no, no, yes, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch and, uh, and Twitch, we can place your comments on the screen so everybody can see your comments, so you can participate in the slides. So we're gonna start the slides and um and you guys could join in. Yeah, and Terrence, you 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 missed the trailers and you missed the recommendations, but uh hurry up. You yeah, know? log on. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to the slides real quick. Now listen, for all of us who grew up in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? And uh in in uh we running in the house from playing. What was the show? You could name two shows, matter of fact, two shows out of these nine shows that played the most in your house. You know what I'm saying? See, do you go first? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Out of these nine shows, now what we got? We got Parenthood. Okay. We got In the House. That's what L Cool J. Right. We got Jamie Foxx show. What do you say? Okay. And Carlton. Don't forget Carlton. Yeah, Carlton. Yeah. There. We got Jamie Foxx show. Steve Harvey show. Living Single. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Rock. Rock crazy too. The Wayne's Brothers and Moesha. So okay. tell me, out of these nine shows... What was the three? What was the two shows that you feel like I watched the most growing up? Watch the show. Okay, okay. Nicola said Moesha uh, and Living Single was playing in her crib. The Wayne's Brothers and Living Single. Okay, okay. okay. Living Single and the Wayne's Brothers. Okay, okay. I think, let's, I think that's, let's do it. Let's do I it. Think that's common. That's common. Wayne Wayne's Brothers, yeah. Brothers, Living Single. Okay. Wayne's Brothers, easy. Okay. Watch. I ain't even gonna tell her what I was watching. Guys, see the what, what? What was you watching, Caesar? I I definitely the Wayne's Brothers for sure. Okay, that was for sure. I'm I'm a little disappointed you ain't put Fresh Prince in here though. Now nah, listen, I left off the top dogs. I left okay. off Martin. I left off okay. Fresh Prince. I left off Family Matters and the Cosby Show for that reason. Because I feel but you like don't think you shows... don't you don't think Jamie Foxx was kind of up there though. I couldn't leave off all of them. He wasn't in there. He wasn't in their realm. Okay. That's okay. that's like the that's like the Rushmore of the nineties. So okay. I left them off purposely just to give some lower shows that nobody really talks about. Uh, no shine. So okay, um, okay. you know, so, so Wayne, uh, I'm gonna go Wayne's Brothers. I'm gonna go Wayne's Brothers. Okay. And uh, I'm 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 mm, I'm torn between three three of them because there's definitely three of them that was definitely on heavy. Um, but I'm probably. I'm probably gonna go with the Jamie Foxx show, but I, I had I had a I had a, like a quick three, like I, there was a third that was like neck to neck, for sure. So you saying? I, what you saying? You saying the I'm Wayne brothers, brothers and the Jamie Foxx show? All right, so the Wayne's brother and the Jamie Foxx show is what you watch the most, right? Yeah. What did you? Okay, I don't want you to pick a third, but I, I, besides those two, what was the third one that you that you felt that you watched? Oh, the, the 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 Steve Harvey was ringing heavy. Oh, so so for you is Jamie. So so first it was the Wayne's brothers. Yeah, Wayne's brother was number one, and then Jamie and Fox. Steve Harvey is like that was, third one if yeah, you had to choose a third was, one. Yeah, that was like right there. I ain't gonna front. Y'all make me feel like, uh, wait, we got we got we got K E D. Uh, what is it? K E K. Excuse me. K E D A P seven one one on uh. On Instagram said Moesha and the Wayans brothers. And okay, she watch. I know I probably butchered it with your oh. name. I apologize for that. Oh, but we yeah. got a rock. Let me though. tell you, we something. got a rock That's on. What we got I'm a rock on say, the I don't know how nobody was watching rock. Okay, we got Parenthood. Yeah, was Parenthood. It okay, okay. That your parent be a parent. Listen, y'all make Parenthood me feel was like good. y'all make me feel like I watch maybe too much TV. Nicola says Wayne's brother was her third, third. because I think was I might have watched all these shows. Terrence, Steve Harvey was not whack. Terrence, you hating Cedric Steve on there? Harvey was Steve not Harvey, whack. come on, that was Terrence not hating. whack. But I you watched, to get, a, you I watched a lot of these shows, man. Rock Terrence, you ain't never. Oh, uh, hold on, Terrence, you ever watch Rock? What was his occupation? Oh, he gonna know his occupation. What, what was his occupation? He don't know. But look, listen, listen. Let me yeah. go. Let me go because I watched a lot of these shows, and I think the one I watched the most. It probably was the Wayans brothers. I ain't even gonna front. I watched a lot of the Wayans brothers. Oh, I, 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 you knew it, team. My bad. Yeah, I watched a lot of the Wayans brothers. Uh, my second I watched was probably was probably Jamie Foxx. But 
to Wayne's Brothers and Jamie Foxx for me. But I, I'm not going to front. Rock was a mad good show. It, like, it was. Rock was a very, very good show. Nobody even mentions Rock when they talk about... Um, <laughs> When they talk about uh, different shows from the 90s, Rock was a, a good show. Uh, the Parenthood was a good show, too. L Cool J's In the House was good. Moesha was good. Hanging with Mr. Cooper was hilarious, though. Yeah, Hanging with Mr. Cooper was good. Hanging and with I, Mr. Cooper. He actually carried on to another Netflix show. I think it's uh, Family Reunion. His character kind of, like, merged into that. Yeah, Hanging with Mr. Cooper was absolutely... It was it was a funny show, but Rock. I just wanted to give a special shout out to Rock because Rock, uh, Rock was good. Rock was so, absolutely right. good. So where would you put Rock at then? So that so you trying to you trying to give it some lifeline? Where, so we gonna rate? You... So we gonna rate him real quick? Are we gonna yeah, rate we can rate him. We, I, I want to see what you rate. I want to see what you rating. All right, all right. So we gonna we gonna rate the nine. So out of these out of these nine shows. The Wayans Brothers probably is one. It's probably one. Jamie Foxx is two, though. Jamie Foxx is two. Um, it depends because Rock wasn't really funny like that. It wasn't hilarious. It was funny, but it wasn't really hilarious. All right, so Jamie Fo Wayans Brothers, Jamie Foxx, I'm going to have to throw in Living Single, right? Uh, Mm, then it gets funny. It got rock. Rock was better than than Steve Harvey to me. Mm. Rock ah, was better than Steve Harvey to me. Parenthood ah, was good too. You know what? It's difficult for me to even rate. I can't even front because rock was good. They all was good for different reasons, but rock rock was a good show, man. And by me not naming it at the top makes people think that maybe it wasn't, but it really was a it was a good show, man. It was. A good I'm saying, show. but to say it was better than Steve Harvey though. Now nah, it was better than Steve Harvey though. It was better than Steve Harvey. It had mm. like you know how the Fresh Prince had some uh moments in the show where it was like it wasn't funny. It was more of a deep. It was more of a it was more of a deep conversation. Rock had those conversations in there, like the like the Cosby Show where it wasn't funny. Like they trying to teach you a life lesson type of thing. Rock had some moments. In yeah, there, but man. you Rock you was, was getting that you was getting that with a living single though. Living single living... was giving you that. Living yeah. single was giving you that. I take living single over rock, and no disrespect to rock. Rock was good, but I, you know, living, I don't think. But it I picked living. I, I did pick living single over rock, though. I did. Okay. I did pick it. It was the Wayne's brothers, Jamie Foxx, living single. Then I'm going with rock. Then I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with Moesha. Then Steve Harvey. Then in the house. I feel bad Hold putting Parenthood all the way down. Hold on, you telling me Moesha's better than Steve Harvey? Yeah, 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 I think so. Come on, I think Moesha was good though. Moesha was good, but it, it Moesha wasn't, was good. It wasn't, it wasn't Steve touching Harvey, Steve Harvey. Listen, I, I'm I'm not gonna bring up no controversy, but when Cat Williams a couple of episodes ago, make sure y'all watch. I think that was episode two. I think we did, or well, could have been one. I'm not sure. Cat Williams said something about Steve Harvey taking hanging with Mr. Cooper's whole whole thing. And you could see the similarities it, to that it, show. It kind of, it, it kind of did. It, it kind of did. Yeah, you could see the similarities to that show, but that's a whole other show. Okay. I do put. Yeah, yeah. Steve Harvey, parent. They all was good. I can't even front. I can't. That's it's difficult it. for me that's to rate it. that. It's that's difficult it. for me to rate that because they all good in their own way. Somebody might have rock at the top of their list. That's how you know. It depends on what you was into. That's fair. Somebody have might I, have rock at the top of the list. I think they was all great shows. I think they, they was all was great, great shows. shows. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out. Shout out to, to everyone in here. I, and, you know, yeah. Well, Terry said, it hanging up. with Mr. Cooper was better than all of them under... Nah. Yo, come on. Nah. Come on. Come hanging on. With Mr. Cooper wasn't better than Jamie Foxx. It definitely wasn't. It wasn't It wasn't even better than the Wayne's Brothers. What are you it talking about? It definitely wasn't better than the Wayne's Brothers. And Wayne's Brothers is number one on this. Wayne's Brothers, with, they, with Pop and all of them on that show... Wayne's okay. Hold on, she got a list. Living okay, single, okay. okay. Then the Wayne's brothers, then okay. Jamie Foxx, then hanging with Mr. Cooper, then Moesha, Rock, Parenthood, then in the house. You know what? I could that's go with this. Good, Other than list. I, that is a good list. I would that's just a, put Wayne's brothers is number one. I'll swap Wayne's brothers would, and living singles, and everything else is solid. 
Yeah, yeah. I could probably put Living Single in the front of Jamie Foxx, too. Wayne's Brothers is probably number one, though. Yeah, yeah. Wayne's Brothers For is probably sure. number one. With Pops yeah, and everything? Yeah, yeah. She, she, she summed it up with that list. That list was good. Yeah, I think we could end it on that one. That was Yeah, perfect. we can end it on that. All right, so listen. If y'all, whoever's, when y'all watching this live right now, make sure y'all share the live so we can get even more people on the live so they can join this conversation with these with these slides we want your opinions we want y'all we want to put your uh your comments on the screen so share the live to your followers so we can get even more people if you're on um youtube right now make sure you comment like and subscribe we appreciate all of your support but let's move on now listen listen Ooh. listen Ooh. you gotta pick two out of these nine you gotta pick two of your favorite shows mm. all of these shows blacklist orange is the new black the hands maze tell breaking bad you game of thrones suits uh this is us and of course how to get away with murder mm. now listen this this is heavyweights <clears throat> heavyweights <throat> right here because okay. all these shows can be the number one show, honestly. All these shows. Look, this is what Terrence is saying. How to Terrence get away said, with how murder. How to get away with murder. And Game of Thrones. And Game of Thrones. Breaking mm. Bad and Game of Thrones. What uh. else we got? Yeah, just two. Just two. We might give three once we get everybody's first two. Like, what's your, what's your, la what's you know, your, your third your one if two? you had to choose? But just two right now. Blacklist, Orange is the New Black, Hands Maze Tale, Breaking Bad, You, Game of Thrones, Suits, This Is Us, and How to Get Away with Murder. Oh, we got the Hands Maze Tale. I knew Nicola was good. This, this is, <laughs> those are Nicola's shows. I ain't even going to front. Hands Maze Tale is amazing, but so is This Is Us. But, guys, yeah, Caesar, where you at? How to Get Away with Murder, for sure. That's, that's, that's hands down. That's your number one. Number one, hands down. Hands down. Okay. I might, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I might get clowned for this, but I don't even care. You, I'm taking you as my you number taking, two. Hold up, hold up. You taking you. I yeah. like the how to get away with murder. I get it. You okay. taking you over blacklist. Now I love blacklist. Now, if we if we get a third, if we get a third, no, I ain't no one no third. I want to know oh, you taking you. I'm taking I'm over. taking I'm taking I'm taking you, even though even though we three what three seasons in going on a fourth, yeah. The writing on you. For, for for you know, if anyone has not seen season three, the last season of you, I'm gonna throw the spoiler out there. You should have watched it by now. For for them, for the first half of this season, to have people arguing how whack the show is, and how all of a sudden now it's what a, season was that? The the last season, season just came. Season what, three. What season was that? Season four. Season three. I think we. I think they're coming. They're working on season the, four. Yeah, right four now. is coming. Yeah. They they get you to the mid season finale. You like this show is horrible. What was the writers doing? What were they thinking? Then they released the second half of the season, and they just completely derailed you, confused you as the viewer. I don't know any show, any show that did that. Listen, listen, you was good, you was good, but I ain't even gonna front. You might be lucky to have made this list. You crazy? Let me tell you why. Listen. I'm talking about of what we got up here. You might be at the bottom. You told me Orange the New Black fell off at the end. They dropped the ball. Orange is the New Black. No, 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 no. Orange is the New Black. They didn't fall off at the end. They just didn't get that next season. Oh, they didn't well, get the next season. Orange is the New Black. Uh, listen, I might be the only dude watching that. I'm noticing, too, because <laughs> I noticed <laughs> a lot of girls watch Orange is the New Black, and it was just me watching it for some reason. But that's how crazy I am when it comes to different stories. But I watch all of the seasons of Orange is the New Black. Orange is the New Black is great. But I ain't even going to front. I'm stuck. Because I've seen... I didn't see that much of Breaking Bad. I ain't even going to front. I, but I, I fell asleep on Breaking Bad. I heard, I heard, it was I heard, good, Breaking, I heard Breaking Bad. Some, that's some people's goat. I, I heard it was good. I just couldn't get past the first episode. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, it's blacklist. Oh. Is oh, so it's murder. Oh, 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 hold McCoy. On. Wait a minute. McCoy. Wait a minute. McCoy. Hold on. Blacklist gotta... is trash. Hold on, but he said so is murder. 
you got to explain listen, that. Listen, though, no, respectfully, to... listen, respectfully, we had to take his comment off the screen. <laughs> we didn't want to get banned from Facebook. You know what I'm saying? We had to take his comment off the screen. <laughs> Breaking Bad quick. is the best joint on here. A lot of people say Breaking Bad is that show, though. A lot of people. But me, that's not my show. And I've seen, let me see what I've seen. I've seen Blacklist. Orange is the New Black. I've watched Hands Made Tell with Nicola. I've seen Suits. This Is Us. I didn't really see too much of how to get away with murder. I ain't even going front. I ain't see too much of that. I didn't see Game of Thrones at all. I watched you, and I seen a little bit of Breaking Bad. All right, so let me just that just just to give okay. some of, of my of my thing. Out of all of these up here, though, Blacklist is is my one. Okay, Blacklist is my one. This Is Us might be my two, and I didn't even finish This Is Us, but This Is Us. Is an amazing show. See, amazing. I think I think you need to watch How to Get Away with Murder, man. I think you know what I'm saying. Like I, nothing against this is us. I heard it's really good, but yeah, no, yeah, you, no. This is us. You didn't see this is us? Nah, nah. Oh man, come on, man. Nah, this I didn't is watch it. us. Is oh, is is amazing. That's true. That's Walking true. Dead Walking, Dead, Walking, Dead, Walking Dead. Walking Dead should have been on here. Walking Dead was another. All right, another so what we taking off you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, KK. Take, everybody, everybody off. in the comments, let me know. Should you have been on this list? Because I feel like I'm the only one that's out of all you. of these nine. No suits. Okay, put it this way: suits was good. Suits was great. You seen suits? Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, of course, of course. All right. So you didn't see Breaking Bad. I didn't see that much of Breaking Bad either, though. But th okay, Nicola said this is us. Is her one? Handsmaid's Tale is her two. Blacklist is her three. Okay. Blacklist okay. is my one. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move to three. Oh, what? Tara said take this, this is us. This is us. Take it off. Come on, take man. That's off. immature. That's immature to take even take it say. off. That's immature to even say, man. How you gonna Yo, say you this was... is us? Listen, all right, I'm gonna pick my three. Now we up to three now. Oh, Dexter. Dexter's another good one, too. Dexter should have been on here too. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So what we taking off of Dexter though? I'm not don't touch you. Okay, listen. Maybe Black, Handmaid's is, Tale. Black, you crazy. Yo, yeah, Ain't nobody yo, saying listen, nothing. Handmaid's Tale <laughs> is absolutely better than Dexter. Handmaid's Tale is amazing. You seen Handmaid's Tale? Yeah, I seen it. Questionable, though. Listen, no, ain't ain't questionable. Handmaid's Tale better than you? You bugging. No. Yo, no, you, you bugging. Tripping. You Handmaid's tripping. Handmaid's Tale is absolutely no. better than you. No. But listen, Bl Hand Blacklist, Blacklist is my one. All right, my two is this is us. My three, I'm going orange is the new black. Okay, I'm going orange okay. is the new black. Orange is the new black. I don't know if any dudes see orange is the new black. I you know I seen man? the first two seasons. It was all right. Orange is the new black was good, man. But you they told you told me they had they a started... they, they had the scary they scary scene like they would try to go like scary movie type thing. Yeah, it, it got, like it, got a little, it got a little it got a little sketchy. You know what I mean? Where they look like they was trying a little bit too hard, and I wish they would have finished the um, I wish they would have finished the uh, the 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 series though, like finished the the whole thing because and like they COVID hit and they just stopped. They stopped recording, us. and that kind of you, messed you, that kind of messed it up a little bit. Even though you've been out for three seasons, you can't tell me one season where they fell off. No, you you mentioned a season where they kind of got us funny. The, the, that, the, the, that was the a middle of that third. It was intentional, though. I know. It was they almost lost me, man. I almost turned to something else. Nah, but it was intent. They took a risk, and it paid off. Cause the, the way they finished it was crazy. It was it it was in, it was insane. I don't know no show that had you complaining about what direction they going in. This makes no sense, and they did it intentionally That's to risky, then hit though. you. That's it, risky because so? you mess around it, when people turn. It, it paid off though. And a last um, season is coming up this year, so you was gonna end awesome. this year. Of course. And uh you was one of the better written movies. Thank you. I mean, better written Thank shows. you uh you ain't better it's written. Good. Yo, hold up. You ain't more better written than the, the handsmaid's tale. did pay off. Then who? Come you on. You is not more better written than the handsmaid's tale. You bugging. Can 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 we can I get some comments? Is handmaid's tale better than you? This is story wise you know in and I know listen, I'm not just agreeing with Nicola because that's what we do. <laughs> but this is us is better Thank written you. than you. Nah, I mean, I'm bugging. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe. I maybe, need somebody. Maybe, I need somebody. I gotta watch it. If you're watching this right now 
if you've seen This Is Us, This Is Us might be, you know, that might be something that uh a lot of a lot of girls, a lot of females, a lot of women watch. So um that and the same thing with Orange is the New Black. But I watch stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if Nicola watches something in the room and I walk in, I'm paying attention to it. And This Is Us is actually a good, that's a good show though. You know, this I'm a, I'm going to watch, watch This Is Us before I talk down. I'm nah, you're not. This, this Is Us is amazing. And um, Handsmaid's Tale is definitely, out of these, out of these, out of these nine, this is what we're going to do. Out of these nine, Handsmaid's Tale is probably the best written, right? No. I Blacklist think that's, that's, got the most subjective. suspense. No, you crazy. You, you got to watch How to Get Away with Murder. More Yo, than Blacklist? Yeah, yes. And I and I'm 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 a fan of Blacklist, and Blacklist is my third. But how to get away with murder? The suspense on that is crazy. I can't crazy. you know what? I, I only watched one episode of How to Get Away with Murder, so I can't even debate you on that unless I see Watch it. it. I ain't even fair to me to, for me to debate it. You know what I'm saying? Watch. But Blacklist keep you Blacklist on the edge of your seat every episode. Oh, yeah, Blacklist is good, and I still gotta finish Blacklist. I ain't even finished yet. But it's good. I gotta watch because y'all y'all really high on how to get away with murder. And, I, I, and I this is us in the handsmaid's tale is amazing. Yo, how to get away but with you murder? Gotta be, you gotta be. No, watch you gotta. It. You know, if you win the just straight up killing action stuff, how to get away with murder? Your, how to? It depends on your preference. And all that. Because it, this is us is a is a story about basically. Uh, three three twins, but two was twins, and they adopted the third one, the black kid that was born on the same day. And they all was born on the same day, and they raised them together. That show, and it goes back and forth from present to past. That show was amazing. Not this is fair. Us is crazy good. Yo, yo, I am gonna finish Blacklist. I'm on. I, I rewatched it because I fell off. I'm on season four right now, and I'm That's gonna crazy. finish it all the way to ten. I'm, I'm faithful said, to Blacklist. How you said, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when you say you was bad for you. Yeah, let me but, tell you something. Every time I used to watch, I used to watch uh, you, Rain used to come in, right? Because, you know, J what's his name? What's his name? Joe? Yeah, Joe. Joe was always killing something. You yo, know what I'm saying? So, look. Rain run in the room. He run out like, yo, what's Joe doing? So, yeah, but, but, but. but oh, but Shameless was, was a good one, too. See, I ain't never seen Shameless before. Shame, Shameless was good. I ain't never seen Shameless before. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see about that. But for me, Blacklist, um, This Is Us, Orange Is the New Black, Suits Is Fire, Suits, Suits Is, is Fire. I need to get up on Breaking Bad though, because I heard Breaking Bad. I heard Break. People say Breaking Bad is the best on this list. Eh, I mean, I I never watched it, so I can't, I can't, I can't speak. How to get away with murder really that good? Yeah, yo, how to get away with murder is is phenomenal. You gotta watch it. It's better than Blacklist, in my opinion. In my, I Blacklist is definitely right there. But how to get away with murder? The way she was doing her thing, it's it's you gotta watch it. It's all about the courtroom. It's about her thinking, her strategic plans, how she her team was phenomenal. Like oh, and, anybody that. Yeah, yeah, she's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, she's so a lawyer and a professor. Law, out of the two law shows, how to get away get away with murder is better than suits. Yeah, uh, hands down. In my hands opinion. down. Hands down. Okay. Hands down. I can't debate. And she and she debate. and she's a professor. She's a professor and a lawyer. I can't debate because I didn't see how to get away. But I seen one episode. I never seen Game of Thrones. I probably won't. I'm just not into, it. Is, into is, it. is that is that wizardry? Is that wizardry? No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, we got dragons and stuff like that. Nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's for kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm a grown no, man. No, I'm a grown no, man. No, don't, don't, I'm a don't grown man. I don't Game watch nothing with dragons. Like <laughs> don't don't disrespect Game of Thrones like that, though. Don't don't. don't, All right, don't listen, do we that. gonna move on though. What we got next? What we got next? Listen, listen, listen. Now we've all listened to all of these first albums: Drake, Thank Me Later, Nipsey Hussle, Victory Lap, J Cole, Sideline Story, and Good Kid, Mad City. Uh, for Kendrick, right? These is all of their first albums, right? I need you to rate these first. First of all, did you hear all these albums? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to rate these four albums from the best to the least. That's a tough one, man. And I, I ain't even gonna hold you. Like I'm not even big in hip hop anymore. But ah, uh, I ain't even. Well, 
I'm gonna be real biased. Victory Lap is like a, a close album to my heart. So yeah, I'm gonna go Victory Lap number one. Victory Lap album number one. That cold album was that cold album was cold. And I'm gonna go with the Kendrick and then I'm gonna go with Drake. Oh, so you got Kendrick third. Yeah, yeah, I got Kendrick third. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold that, up. That J, let's that J, see, that J. Cole see, album. See. Somebody said Joe Thunder said good kid mad city. Thank me later. Cold world and victory lap is last. Ah, victory lap hold is up, last. Hold up. Terrence, uh, oh, wait, wait. Nikoi said Nipsey Hustle first, yeah. J. Cole second, thank me later, and Kendrick last. Okay, I like I could I could rock with that list. I would switch the, the thank me later though. Terrence said Kendrick, Nip, Cole. Now listen, this is the list. This is the this is the list. You could swap Kendrick and Nipsey, maybe. But this is the this is mine. This is mine. So right I wasn't here. I wasn't too far off then. I said, I said I said I said I said victory lap Cole. Oh, I did say Cole second, and then I said Kendrick, and I said Drake. Yeah, me personally, um, I think I think uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a say Kendrick's album is a classic. It's the first, definitely number one for me. Kendrick Nipsey Hustle, yeah, classic. Yes, it was. I ain't even gonna front. I could put Nipsey Hustle one some days because Nips that album, that Victory Lap album was, was crazy. Yes, crazy. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, of course, you know him. Him. It, it was sad is that he was able to see the success of it because he died the year after it came out, but he didn't win his Grammy. I, I think they had to give. He got his Grammy after he died. Shout out to Nipsey Hussle though, rest in peace. But uh, Hendrix number one, Nipsey is is um is two. Um, J Cole of course is three for me. Okay, and Drake is not that Drake's la you know his album was whack. It's just that out of these, his album yeah, wasn't, wasn't better than these albums. Nah, he doesn't. And Nipsey Hussle really could be one though. He could, and I put Victory Lap number one. Oh, she said. She's biased because she's from uh, a Fayetteville. So J. Cole, number one, Nipsey, two, okay. Kendrick, three, Drake, four. Nipsey's okay. deserved that grant. He did. He, he did. definitely did. That album was did. amazing. Victory Lap is. The album was amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, put, what, I put Kendrick on Nip. And okay. Kendrick okay. and Nip. I'm in the cloud. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You listen, that, uh, that, that, that Nipsey Hustle album. You could listen to that from front to back. From front to back. I, not skipping, not skipping one track. Nah, from not front to one. back. That album is amazing. Thank Me Later is cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on Drake. Thank Me Later nah, is yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Kendrick and and uh and Nipsey Hustle's album is definitely the best albums on this list. And uh J. Cole album is amazing too, but it's definitely third. It's oh, yeah. definitely third. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So you say, so so say your list again. You said Victory Lap. Yeah. J. Cole. Uh-huh. Kendrick and Drake. Okay. And I said uh Kendrick, Good Kid, Mad City, Nipsey Hustle, Victory Lap, J. Cole, uh, the sideline story, and Drake thank me later. Okay, cool. So 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 word so no skips three P. That's what I'm talking about, too. Yeah, that's it. You know, all right. So let's move on. Let's see what we got. You know what I'm saying? For this for I this third uh, slot. Okay. All right, now ahead, listen. Now listen. All of these shows, I picked these show, these movies because they was kind of all came out at the same time in like 1989, right? You got Lean On Me. You got Glory. You got The Color Purple. You got Do the Right Thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's seen these movies. If you haven't, it's embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, out of these, out of these four movies, either rate them number one to four. Well, I never seen Glory, so my bad. But I'm my fault. My fault, man. I I didn't. Yeah. But Lean on Me's number one. Lean on me is number one for you. Num number one for wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Before we even start naming them, what are we basing this off of? All right, we got to base this off. Okay, of, okay. That's good. Let's base it off. Of, we base it off a of story, right? How well the story's written 
right? And emotions, how much emotions are brought emotions, out of you. all of that impact, of course. Cultural, what does it mean to the culture? And then and oh. then we go. Okay, so we got to lean on me, do the right thing. Put it back up, see the lean on me, do the right thing. Uh, color purple and glory's at the end. I right, you know so what, what? you saying. What are we doing? That's that's actually really close to my list. I was gonna say lean on me. I was gonna say color purple, then do the right thing, and then glory. Okay. Lean on me is on the one. Everybody saying oh, lean on me, glory. number one. You you got glory at the end. Yeah, only 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 because I never seen glory, so I can't I can't really gauge that. But from from J. Boo putting glory, J. Boo putting glory. I mean, putting I color some, purple at the bottom. I got Parents some. put the color purple at the bottom. Ah, crazy. That crazy. is crazy though. Listen, color purple at the bottom I mean, again. If we talk about, if we talk about, um, the color said oh, we got color, color purple, purple glory. On. Lean on me. Do the right thing at the end. Out of this list, do the right thing. Wait, don't take my black card, but I never seen a color purple Ooh, <laughs> and oh, have oh, no, no. itch. Hold listen, on, no. this, listen, is listen, listen, this is the this is the original wait. color purple though. This is not the new one. This is this the, is the original, original color purple. purple. Not not the this this is the one from back in the day. This is right. This is not the one with purple. Taraji and, and, and all this that. This ain't the join out the movies. This is the we're gonna give her some time. We're gonna give her some time yeah, to yeah. come back. Hopefully, she ain't talking about the. I mean, we'll be on there though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Listen, hold up. Ter Yo, Terrence, hold up, man. Terrence, Ter Terrence said, I hate the color purple. Why do you hate the color purple, Terrence? Like, what yeah, do you hate that. about the color purple? Explain that. Explain that. Crazy. All right, listen. Do the right Lean thing on me. probably... Do the right thing probably has to be at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Terrence, crazy. Yo, do the right thing probably has to be at the bottom out of these movies. You know what I'm saying? What? Uh, yeah, it does. Do the right thing. Probably have to be at the bottom. Lean on me. Lean on me might be one. Yeah, lean on me. We might have the we might have the same list. So, what was your list? Who was at the bottom for you? Uh, glory, that's glory. You didn't see glory because I didn't see it. But yeah, it's lean on me is definitely number one. I'm giving it color purple number two. Do the right thing number three, and glory on only on the string because I didn't see it. Yeah, I'm hey, hey is a to... tune. You're right. Hate is a strong word. Hold word. on. Wait, no, not even the original. But to be honest, it's probably because. Okay. 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 All that's right. fair. See, we okay. ain't gonna okay. get. We ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I'm about right. to jump all over that comment. <laughs> but I ain't even. I ain't even. You, you still got. That. You still got your card. You still got your card. It's still fair. got your card because of the trauma. You know, listen. Sometimes you gotta protect you. You gotta protect your mood. You gotta protect your spirit. So, uh, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get that. But listen. Lean on me is one. Lean on me got to be one. Lean on me was was an amazing movie. You know what I'm right. saying? And it was just what it meant. You know, it, it, it was true story. You know what I'm saying? Lean on me is one. The color purple is absolutely two though. Mm, it is it, gotta it, be. It, it is two. The whole storyline. A lot of people don't even know that Steven Spielberg directed that film too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He don't even people don't realize like it's yeah it's a black movie. But Steven Spielberg directed that film. Um, the Color Purple is definitely, is definitely an amazing movie. Um, Glory is is three though. Glory's okay. three. Glory could be two, but Glory's three. Do the right thing really is not even in a category. Honestly, I ain't even gonna front. Do the right thing is I is more of a. I don't know. I think these movies can be nominated for Oscars. They probably were. And I don't think Do the Right Thing was nominated for an Oscar for this for that. Glory okay. could be T two. said Glory could be two. Okay. Glory could be two. It's between Glory and and, and the color purple. But uh Lean on Me That's was fair. definitely it probably is more of a social impact. That's fair. Which one? Which one he's talking uh, about? Do, do the right thing, I believe. Do the right thing. Yeah, do the right thing. Probably if you if you if you look at culturally. Do the right thing probably it means more to us as a culture, as a as a black culture. Um, Lean on Me was a better movie than all of them, though. I think. Yeah, Lean on Me has got to be. Lean know. on Me was amazing. Lean on Me was an amazing movie, and um, and of course the color purple was amazing too. But Glory was great too, and Gl Glory could be number two. 
So for me, it's definitely lean on me, color purple, glory, kind of like we would have the way the list is. <clears throat> lean on me, excuse me, color purple, glory, and do the right thing. That's fair. Do the right okay. thing. So you know, I guess, I guess, I guess that uh that right there is 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 what we got. But um right. before we jump to the next, we should uh jump on our sponsor real quick. Oh, oh yeah, before we go to before we jump to the next uh thing, this episode of the Corey Porter podcast. Is brought to you by Azalea Vasi fragrances. Fragrances, excuse me. Let's play. This, let's play this. That right there is Azalea Vasi fragrances. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. You know what I'm saying? That's the unisex. Uh fragrance for both men and women you know what i'm saying valentine's day coming up make sure that y'all can go to the website azaleavasi.com pick you up a bottle of azaleavasi fragrances it's amazing smells amazing you know what i'm saying great quality the website's official so make sure you guys visit azaleavasi.com for the uh for the azaleavasi fragrance for both men and women unisex fra uh, unisex fragrance it's definitely fire. We got some customers up here on the screen that smelt it. Definitely fire. Shout out to Azalea Vasi for the uh for the fragrance and uh for sponsoring this episode of the Corey Porter podcast. So um all right, so this 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 uh this next videos I want to show, and I need a lot of if, if, if any any girls, female, women. Who's watching this? I need, I need, I need input on this on this video I'm about to play. I'm gonna give you some context to the video. A girl goes out. I'm, I'm, a guy takes a girl out on a date, and he asks her to pay half. And she's, uh, she's talking. You know, she's not feeling the fact that she's paying half. I'm gonna play the video for you guys. I need you to tag women, tag men in this video because I really want a nice conversation on how you guys feel about how this date is handled. I'm gonna play the first video. It's three parts to the video. I'm gonna play the first video right now. This bill is only 115 and he telling me to pay for my own food. It's... And you brought me here. It's only it's only $50. But so what? It's the point you brought me here. Why would I pay for my own food? I got money, but so you you're not trying to split it. Split it. Split the bill. It's a three long islands on here. I didn't even have a long island. Okay, but you asked me what do I drink? I didn't know I was paying for my own stuff. I mean, I, Man. I had the transportation. I'm gonna just pay for my own stuff. I don't even care. I can't believe this, y'all. This is real. Like, this is. He I'm really, I had the transportation. To he come really out telling here. me to pay for it costs like thirty dollars in gas to come out here. One fifteen. One fifteen. And I gotta pay for my own food. I might listen. Um, no, it's fine. Okay. Can you split can you split the bill? Yeah. Do that even sound yeah, if you I, went out you just want another receipt? No, if you went I wanna ask you something. If you went out to eat with a dude, if a dude bring you out to eat. And he said, are you paying for your own stuff? Wouldn't you be like... Me, personally, that happened to me before. It happened to me before, too, and right. it's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm about to pay the whole thing because it's like, I want you to know that I got money. I mean, that's what you want to do? Just, just, I'll pay the whole thing. Just, are you going to at least tip her? You going to tip her? Bro, I, I told you, I didn't spend gas. You recorded? You recorded, folks. Because I want them to know. <laughs> I told you, I didn't have the gas money to come out here. All right, I'm going to pay the whole thing. Tip her, please. No, Tip right. her whatever you was going to pay Just for your bill. bill. Just split the bill. Just split the bill. Yeah, Not the whole thing. Just Jesus split it. Christ, this is my brand. <laughs> now, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> it's a lot of layers to that video, though. You know what I'm saying? And um, before I even say my my opinion on it, um make sure if you watching you know what i'm saying if you've seen the video uh this this is about a girl she go the guy takes her on a date he wants her to pay half you know what i'm saying and um 
and she and, and she feel like she shouldn't have to pay half. You know what I'm saying? See the how do you feel about that video? I mean, I I, I want to touch on what Joe said. It could be scripted, but let let's let's paint a picture where it's not scripted, right? I think I think I think if you if anybody ask anybody out on a date, I think that person should pay. I think that's just common courtesy. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, let's be let's be clear. So if a girl asks you on a date, she should pay for you. I, I mean, she could pretend, she, at least attempt. I'm going to pay for it, but attempt would be nice. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think whoever whoever asks who out on a date, right? You, 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 that's, you know, you ask me out. So okay. you should cover that. But I think also, too, I think it depends. Was this their first date? Are they even, was it even established as a date? Is it just two friends hanging out? You know, I think where she definitely was foul at is, you know, she shouldn't have posted that video live. I don't think that was a, a live stream worthy, which why I kind of go back to what Joe was saying. It might be scripted. They might just be trying to do this for clicks or some, some type of fame because you shouldn't even try to put my man on blast like that. Maybe he really didn't have the money. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I'm definitely not cheap, man. I, I You know, anyone that know me know I'm, I'm far from cheap. You know what I'm saying? Wait, who Definitely you, not gonna cut my eyebrows you, off though. Who said? Who said you was cheap? <laughs> we, we got, we got some, we got some, we got some season cheap comments in here. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? not cutting my eyebrows off. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Equality is right. If you ask me on a date, but first, like I don't like the it. first reaction uh, is to pull out the camera. L yeah. Listen, not yet. You know what? That's what I like. Leave that comment right there because now this is where I got to come in at. Now, mind you, I'm one of those guys who feel like the man should pay on the date all the time. Even if the girl wants you to go out, I still think you should pay for the date. I just don't feel right. Especially on some old first date. Y'all ain't married. Y'all ain't engaged or nothing. You want a first date and, and you allowing that. I think that's a red flag for you to allow a woman to pay for you on a date. I do. I might be old school. I don't want to sound sexist, but I just feel like uh, if you go on a date, whether she said, yo, let's go out to eat, I think you should pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I just do. I do think that. My thing is, though, the fact that she pulled the phone out and reacted to him not paying made me feel like he shouldn't have paid for her anyway. Because those kind of reactions makes me feel like she wasn't even worth the date. Like he should have seen that red flag before he even uh got went on a date. Because if your first reaction to do is to pull out the phone when he couldn't pay and embarrass him, then you ain't you not you not that you not that that ain't it. You ain't you ain't, you ain't on. the one you're supposed to be with. But I also want to touch on this, and Joe brings up a good point. It's a dinner. It's his birthday. Do he gotta pay, or does she gotta pay? You see what I'm saying? So I, I'm I'm big on shivery, and I'm I'm a big gentleman, but listen, I think listen, you know, I, I think there's a sign, you know, or just some type of courtesy. Like e even if you like, oh, I got this, I'll I'll probably already had been paid, and you just didn't know the bill was already paid. But I at least want to see the gesture of it. You see? What I'm nah, saying? listen, listen. If it's your birthday, right, and she's taking you out on your birthday, I get that, right? If you married and it's your birthday, your wife taken out, I get really the money is the same after a while. So I get that. So if she's saying it's your birthday, I want to take you out on your birthday, then I get it, right? But that situation looked like and who that situation looked like she didn't know, she didn't know uh that she was gonna end up paying anything. But the fact that she pulled out the camera made me made me kind of glad he didn't pay. Honestly, I think that's I think that's whack. I think that I think that this 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 generation with the cameras, man, and like her first instinct was, uh, let me embarrass him. Let me embarrass yeah. him is my is, yeah. was her first instinct, and I think that's I think that's corny though. But I do feel, I don't care if the girls say, yo, you want to go out to eat, you should you should pick that bill up absolutely. You should absolutely pick that bill up, and you right, shouldn't so cool. wait, and you shouldn't wait and see if she gonna do it. So you, so that. you tell, so you telling me if you dating someone, you about a year in, and yeah. and and she's always like, oh, let's go out to here, let's go here, let's go there, let's go here, 
you telling me now at one point you want to see if she's going to reach in that person, see if she's going to pay? Nah, nah, nah. So, so, cause for me, th- that tells me like, you don't even care about my, my, me saving any kind of money. You okay with me just spending money. Nah, and we supposed think... to build something together. So wh- where, where's the togetherness in this? But we talking about going out to eat. See, we ain't talking about buying a house. No, nah, but I'm just saying, if we if we constantly going out, let's say we we dating for two years, we go out one, once a week, every week. You telling me that not once you should at least pretend to pay, at least attempt to reach. What what, what part of the relationship we in? You saying just girlfriend and boyfriend we, thing? Yeah, yeah. But two years in though, a lot's nah, established. Nah, nah, two nah, years. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, listen, listen. If you got it. Like if you it's don't, not about, got it's not it, about having it. Me, look, I, I guess I'm old school. If I don't got it, let's say me, like, cause you know me and Nicola, we've been together. Uh, we've been together for a long time. So you know, when we were girlfriend and boyfriend, you know, going out to eat, she, Nicola don't pay for no. You know, she don't pay for her food. She don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Will she do it? Yeah, of course she would. Now we grown, we married, it don't even matter. Whoever pull their card out, it's the same money. Well, it's coming, yeah, it's coming out of the same exactly. Same so, account um, at this point. but uh, <laughs> what was that? You eating two C's, yeah, but, uh, you know, but 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 but, but listen, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think, uh, a woman, I agree. For, pay. First date, hands down, no questions asked, a man should pay. I don't even hands down. The first couple of dates, a man should pay hands down. You say two and I'm years not, in, she should be paying sometimes. I'm I'm just saying at least the attempt. If 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 we two years in, and that bill come and you sitting there staring at me like it's expected at this point, <laughs> that's a little messed up. Listen, now, I guess you got listen, listen. Let put it this way, see there. I guess by two years, you know, the person that you with at that time, right? If you know the kind of person they are, if you're starting to feel like this person is like, oh, this person is just using me now, then I get it. But if you if you two years in, you like you like that person. But uh, uh, Cola said it right, right? After a while, she can pay if she wants to, and that's fair. But he should always be prepared to pay. Always be prepared. A hundred percent agree. With and, that. and listen, I think he should always be ready to pay. And in order for her to absolute, in order for her to pay, she got to be on like nah. I got it this time. Of course. I'm not, I got it this I'm time. I'm not saying. But I'm you don't saying, sit back, though. Don't sit back. No, of course not. But what I'm so saying I gotta is. I got to go to the bathroom real quick. Thinking you nah, nah, You got to nah. go to the don't, bathroom. Don't come, with, don't come with the dinosaur hands like you can't reach your wallet. I'm, I'm 100% on it. Terry said, I feel weird if she pay. I, I, that is weird, I though. You. I Especially you. on some, when you want some girlfriend and boyfriend. I agree. Uh, if he, he asks, ask her out, he pays. 100%. If she asks, she pay, you saying? I'm saying after a certain a certain amount of time, and I and there's a and there's ninety nine point nine percent chance I'm not letting her pay. Anyone that knows me knows if I'm out to eat, most of the time I got the bill covered. That's that's even with my boys. So and hundred percent, you know, if I'm on a date, you could ask my wife. I don't think she ever paid for dinner. But what I'm saying is there should be at some point an attempt, or you look like you want to pay. I'll have it covered, but I want to, you know, I want to see where your mind's at. I want to see Hold where you're at. We was just at Buffalo Wild Wings not too long ago, and I think I ain't, I ain't see you pick up the bill for Terrence Wings, Terrence. 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 Terrence, post right now who covered the bill for everybody at the table when I walked off, and the only reason why I got caught, I had to come back and get my wife an order. Oh, so you pay for the wings? Of course. I pay for everybody. Okay, listen, listen. The next time we go out, I make sure I'm there, man. Cause I yeah, like I'm just saying, notes and all and, that, and you know, and this is not this is not this is not even like it, by no means am I bragging. It's just I'm a very generous person. If I'm out eating with everybody, because one thing I don't like doing, I don't like being at the spot and everybody got to divide the cards and all. Yo, I don't crazy. do that. That's I don't crazy. do that. <laughs> so Yo, I, listen, you know, I don't. That's why I'm glad Cash App happened because Cash App saves the embarrassment on. Yo, I ain't even get no Pepsi. Yo, who had wings like that joint right there? Just pay the bill. Let's figure it out later. You know what I'm saying? But all of that, I didn't have onion rings and all that. Yo, we can't, we can't do that. Thank Karen you, said he paid. I did. I, I put you on a spot, man. I'm about to say, I thought she was nah. up here stunting and fronting. Nah, look, I, I, I'll pay. I have no, I have no problem with it. Hence why I also the probably don't go out a lot neither, because typically <laughs> I will, I will, I will try to be the first to pay. But I'm also being smart. You know what no, I'm saying? Man, so, yo, the Terrence. So the next time, the next time we go out, you know what I'm saying? 
Steve the Goddess, and he yo, said T, it live on T, a podcast. Yo, T knows a and lot we're of times Caribbean food too. No, no, no lie. I'm bringing when everybody. We, I'm bringing the kids. Ter- when me and Terrence go out, no lie. I kid you not. There's a good chance we fighting to see who pays the bill first. It always happens whether he beat me sometimes and the Koi too. Matter of fact, most of the people I go out with and I hang out with, we all rush in to see who's gonna just cover the bill. Period. That's just the way we roll. So I'm not out here acting like a cheap person, but I'm just saying it'd be nice to see. Yeah, because they had you. They, they, paint, they, they, they put a they put a they put a brush look, up on you, Caesar. Look, that's they had fine. You they out here pay. looking like looking look, like you was pay. pinching pennies. They was like, "Yo, listen, look, I ain't look, paying for paint. I ain't paying look, for the they apple." They could paint me however they want to paint me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I want to see a woman reach. Cedar said, That's I ain't all. paying for the Applebee's. <laughs> Yo, Applebee's is expensive, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. Word up. All right, though, listen. So, so the majority of the people feel like he should pay. I thought it was whack the fact she pulled her phone out, which makes me think he shouldn't have paid at all because the way she reacted. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would have made me mad. I ain't even gonna front because now you trying to embarrass me. And then she posted it online. Yeah, yeah. but I also think it might have been scripted too. It might have been. You know, that hundred and fifteen dollars was wild crazy for him to split. But he also said that you know he spent thirty dollars to get there. But I'm thinking like if you ain't have enough money, to nah, but he had day, money. He had money because he said split the bill. He just ain't he ain't, he ain't pounding on Long Island iced teas down. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> but if he ain't have enough money to cover the date. He played himself. You know? He, he played himself. You know what I mean? But we're going to digress and move on. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, now l- listen, see the Before, what what, 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 uh, what Tico say? Nah, expose him, you ugly. Hey, you have a term to pay. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Tigua, we can't be over here calling people ugly. You know, we live in a different time now. You can't call people ugly no more, man. There's a whole movement. There's a whole movement somewhere that will cancel you for being ugly, man. And I ain't saying yeah, that, that. That that's true though. I I I agree with Cole. He should have definitely no problem covered the tip. Hundred percent. He was wilding, but listen, listen, yeah, listen. He was. Let let put let let, let let's kind of let's kind of give him. Nicole is right, absolutely. But let's try to let's let's give him some slack though, right? Let's say that he uh he ain't really have it like that, but he he always wanted to go out on a date. You know what I'm saying? And and he thought he had enough to cover everything, but then that thirty dollar ride over there threw him a little off. He was a little embarrassed. He didn't know how to how to approach it. And at the end, he had to be, be like, "Yo, I uh, I I can't pay this. You gonna have to pay your half. I pay for you to get here, you know." And then she pulled the camera out and played him like that. I don't know. I think they both was whack. They say he get no slack. They're not giving him no slack. He, he should have budget. No he he, sh- he should have budget properly. And I ain't even gonna front though. Um. I ain't gonna say nothing about his bald head because maybe he going through something. Maybe it's an illness or something like that. <laughs> Should have chose Wendy's. <laughs> but listen, if there's no illness going on, my man wilding with that hair though. Wilding with the no hair though. I don't even think he had eyebrows either. It was crazy. <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> it, was, it, was definitely, it was definitely crazy. But we're gonna move on. But listen, dash time, dish time. Where he better do We're gonna dishes. talk about this neural link. I want you to explain to the people. <clears throat> excuse me. I want you to explain to the people. What neural link is before we show the, the video of this neural link? What is it? What is this neural link about? Yeah, of course. So, so just to give a little context, so neural link is another company that Elon Musk is running. Um, he started it in, in 2016, but it was publicly reported in 2017 of March. And his goal is to be able to put a computerized chip in your brain so that way you are able to communicate with technical devices so it's it's one day the hope is to make it for the masses but it's going to start off with you know p- paralyzed individuals and you know those that can't move their arms legs etc and but it'll allow them to be able to text with no problem surf the internet no problem phone calls everything that you know those that could use our fingers and stuff like that can do they 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 started with um you know animal treat testament testing and everything has seemed to have been going successful. And they just announced not too long ago that they are doing human trials. So we're now at the phase where we're able to put, not we, but him, computer chips in a human brain. And they, they already had it. They already did it. And, and this individual is now recovering. So at some point, 
we could think and text just from our thought. It's crazy. We're here. We're at that. We're at that state in life. We're here. Listen, let's first of all, you look wild excited about it. I am. As I ain't even going to go you. get some surgery done. You Yo, want the chip? I might get. I, I mean, don't say it like that, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just Yo, saying. Be, Yo, listen, be, anybody who watching going. right now is called Neuralink. Before I even talk about the Neuralink myself, we're going to play the video. <laughs> we're going to play the vaccine. This, there's a video for the Neuralink that we're going to play right now. Watch the video and let's discuss. Uh, let's discuss this real quick. Hello. We're thrilled to introduce Neuralink's Prime study, the first clinical trial of a groundbreaking experimental device that could help transform the lives of people with paralysis. Imagine the joy of connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. This is made possible by placing a small, cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. No wires or physical movement are required. By participating in the PRIME study, you'd be helping to redefine the boundaries of human capability. If you've been living with quadriplegia from a spinal cord injury or with ALS, you may qualify for the PRIME study. We'd love to share more with you and get you on board. Visit our website today to learn more and to submit your application. We'll be supporting you with a dedicated team at every step on this revolutionary journey. Your courage and contribution could significantly shape the future of interaction and independence, not just for you, but for countless others. Yo, listen, listen. First of all, you smiling too hard for me. That is crazy. Hey, that's crazy. Look, look, even Toon said it. Minority Report. Let's go. So they gonna put a chip in your brain. Yeah, and you're gonna be able to uh, control things with your brain. Like so, instead of me typing on this computer, I'm gonna be able to type my whole books by me thinking about it. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you know they can't control what you think too with that chip? I mean, I'm sure they will. I'm sure. I'm sure there's there's risks that you take, and I'm I'm just looking at the technology and the advancement in technology as a whole. The fact that we are close to the place where I could have a chip in my brain and surf Netflix or text or Google search or write or code or whatever just from my thoughts. Like you are now that much closer to being one with computer and technologies. Like, have you not seen Lucy the movie? Like you first, almost there. First of all, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that involved with technology. You bugging right now. So you, nah. so you, you, you in love with technology that bad that you gonna put a, a chip in your brain and let and so you could control things. But first of all, it's wild lazy, wild lazy. <laughs> it's right? not. It's just technology, because now it's man. like I don't even want to move my fingers. I don't want to move nothing. I just want to now. For, now listen for the quadriplegic people. You know, because they also talked about that first. Yeah. Now yeah, when that's it's what something start like with. when it's something for people like that, listen, do what you need to do. If you want to be able to walk again, all that kind of stuff, move around, I'm with you. But for us people around here, just trying to be technology savvy, like Caesar, bugging. Ain't no way in the world I'm getting that. <laughs> you wild. And, and, and then, then you don't even know if they can start controlling your brain. All of a sudden, they got you doing wild stuff. You running around the street butt naked, crazy. <laughs> just saying, man. You know, nah, nah, I ain't a part of the get out resort. <laughs> I ain't going down <laughs> like that. <laughs> Darren says, just, a sign of the end times. I mean, he I hear you. Right. He might be on to something. That joint crazy. So, see, the honestly, all seriousness, you would consider. I mean, like, I'm not saying I'm going to be the first to jump in line. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying after some years, and it's heavily tested, I, 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 I'll contemplate it. For what though? Just so you could be like, "Yo, turn off the lights." I'm gonna think about no. the lights going. No, so you 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 thinking a small scale, man? What you thinking? Then tell me, tell explain to me why 
it, sell it, sell it to us, sell it to the to the viewers. Well, well, you can't, you can't. It's hard to sell it, but from my view, this is how I'm looking at it, right? That my thoughts can tell a computer what to do. That mean that means it's I have limited limitless power. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm talking computer language at this point. I'm I'm a coder. So so those that don't know my occupation, I'm I'm a, I'm a software engineer. I gotta I gotta under I gotta write in a language that's English and it gets compiled to the computer. Secret that you talking like you working for the people. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that now you bring me to the lowest level of a computer language. I'm talking, I'm talking binary at this point. It's only zeros and ones. That's 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 great power right there. So you trust, first of all, I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything that much. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust airplanes. I trust, you know, I don't trust anything that much. First of all. They gotta, or you gotta have to have brain surgery, right? And I'm not a neural, you know, I'm not a neural doctor, you know. I don't know how you say it, Nicole. How you say that, a neuro, a neurologist or whatever. Messing with your brain, crazy though, because you can mess up with just a little piece and have you all off, crazy. Oh, you could, you could. So you gonna trust somebody to put a computer chip in your brain <laughs> just so you could turn your computer off and on? Nah, but see, you you talking low skills. You can hit it. You you talking like someone that's being lazy. Like I don't want to press a button. Appreciate you, Nicole. appreciate you. I'm talking. I'm talking someone who can now talk zeros and ones, which most humans can't do. I don't actually no human I really think can't talk pure zeros and ones. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking. What is that? What like, zeros and ones? What is that? That's bi that's binary code. That's uh, computers only understand zeros and ones. So yeah, but, if you so you want to be a computer, essentially, yeah. I think that's dope, man. Listen, I, listen. I'm, are we talking to a coder, so that's why, you know, that's why. And 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 I'm a creative writer, so this joint sound like a a movie that should be written. To him, it sounds like something he want to do for real. Yeah, which is crazy. Y'all telling me I never watched the Matrix and was like, yo, I want, I want, I want, I want to be a part of that. I want. I don't see think nobody part. said that. I think you said oh. that. <laughs> you and them dudes at Best Buy in the Geek Squad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. Ain't no way in the world. Nobody wants to be a computer. Listen, there's no way in the world I'm going to be like, yo, I'm about to go get some surgery. And you just so you could just think like a All right, tell me the benefits, right? What's the financial benefits of you having that in your in a, a computer chip in your brain? That you could control things without with just thinking about it. What's the what's the because really what it is with me is that they're gonna be able to advertise things to you by what you think about. Really, I think it's more for them nah, yeah, yeah. and less for you. They make it seem point. like it's for you, but it's really let's get everybody with this chip so we can kind of control them. I mean, it's it's it's, it's possible, but you got to think that I mean, every you know, for every thing that someone comes out, there's people that know how to hack it. And it, to answer your question, Joe, so. If you don't know binary code, so the same thing with computers, right? So we don't know binary code, but as a coder, I could write in almost plain English and the computer knows how to compile it to binary code. So it'd be the same with a chip, right? So I would think, I don't know, build this website in my mind. It would take my thoughts in English or whatever that version is, and then it would compile it so the computer can understand and know it. So I'm I'm like direct connect with the computer. So that's how, that's how that would work. Now, as far as the, the financial benefits, once again, I, I agree with you. I'm sure that it's it's a more financial gain for them. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, they could probably pump you with a bunch of ads or whatever. But in theory, or one would like... like you, know, you said that like that's that's not a big deal. No, no, I'm saying it, it, it is, but it's what we deal with now. So, I mean, it, you know, we survive with it now. So you still it ain't forced to purchase nothing. Now, Cedar. Let's true, say, true. Let's say all of a sudden they say, yo, my bad, this neural link. Uh, a thing kind of malfunction. Um, now people running around here killing people, and you I mean, one of them joints in your head. You got I one mean, of them joints in your head. Look, talking you about come over to the crib and all that. Nah, nah, but I'm just saying, like, all right, so we about to drop uh, uh, AGI, right? Which is artificial general intelligence, right? And that's basically that's that's a step up from regular AI. Right, so you have computers. We didn't even get used to the real, the regular AI yet. They got another one. 
No, no. So a AGI, AGI is not officially out yet right now. That's what they're striving for. And that's what they've been striving for. So you have machine learning language, which is under the umbrella of AI. Yeah. It does sound like a Black Mirror episode, right? But then you have a AGI, which is computers can now self-teach themselves, right? So machine learning language and AI is you give it training data. You, you're training it on a particular thing, and then that's how it learns and gets smart, only on that particular thing. But it can't teach outside of that. AGI is it doesn't need the human anymore. It can self-teach itself and, and, and basically act and, and learn as a human would. So we're already going to get there. You know what I'm I saying? I don't know. I, I mean, it's scary, though, because it feels like something that that might eventually be uh, required for everybody to have. What, AGI scary. or the or the chip? The chip. Nah, they, all of a nah. sudden, all of a sudden, chasing Bank of America, all of a, oh, we only using these chips to, for the money now. Now well, everybody got to go get that. Come on, man. That joint they already did. They, they already doing that, though. Right. So like, I don't. I, so. So Sam Alton. <laughs> right. Terry says, see the guy inside info. I don't know if we could trust him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, son, no doubt. You wow. No doubt. Yo, you, you, you surprised me. Though. Listen, I've known you your whole life. Right. You know what I'm saying? You surprised me that you want that chip in your head. That's crazy. I'm saying I'm not I'm not jumping first online. I think what he's doing it for is a, is a good cause for those that you are you know are paralyzed and stuff like that. Hands down. Start with yeah. that first. That's the main focus. I think as time goes on though, I'll be intrigued. You be I'll intrigued. be intrigued. All right. So uh most people thought, you know, you had some people on here that thought it was that thought it was, you know, interesting. I thought they was trolling you honestly though. <laughs> a lot of people thought you was bugging about even considering getting a computer chip in your head. You know what I mean? But listen, you know what I mean? <laughs> Never know. All, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how, how all, all, all it's going to take is for somebody to get that chip and they start making wow money from it. And then everybody going to be lined up because people will literally do anything for money. Oh, yeah. Anything I can see that. Money. I can see that. You know I mean, but we're going to move on. You know what I'm saying? We're going to move on. Uh, I seen this. Uh, clip of uh <laughs> Issa Rae, right? Issa Rae is considering taking a new route in the film industry as she becomes increasingly frustrated with Hollywood for repeatedly canceling black shows. You're seeing very clearly now that our stories are less of a priority. Now, um I'm a big fan of Lisa, uh, Issa Rae, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as a writer myself, though, um, I can I can I can understand what she's saying. I really can understand what she's saying. They are uh, our stories, even when it comes to um, publishing books. Our stories are um, are afterthought. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely an afterthought. They throw us in the urban section of Amazon, and um, it's almost like to let people know, like. This is black stories, so we don't want to trick y'all. You want to go read something over here, you know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. like they 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 categorize our stories purposely in certain ways, just to let people know that this is black stories. And and it's it's a lot of racism. Even I know it's a lot of racism in Hollywood when it comes to black stories, but on my side, when it comes to like publishing books, it's racism on our side too. Like I've you know I've seen um. I've seen uh, people in Facebook group chats, right? Facebook groups. This one lady basically posted in this author's Facebook group saying, I love your books and I've bought all your books, but I had no idea. This, this is real. I had no idea you were black and now I can't support you anymore. She said That's that crazy. live on Facebook. That's live crazy. on it, and, and, and he handled it with grace. He handled it humbly, like, "Yo, I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, I, you know, it, it's sad that you feel that way, but you gotta, you know, you gotta go ahead and do what you need to do." That's how he answered it. But it's sad yeah. though because she liked what he did, but the fact that she was supporting a black author, it made her feel like she couldn't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's whack. But uh, shout out to Issa Rae. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see people in Hollywood. Um, Standing up for what's right and standing up, you know, you know, for us in our culture, because our stories need to be heard. And even with this podcast that we do, um, that's why I like to, you know, it's, it's nostalgic because I like to show old shows that we used to watch, old movies that we used to watch, 
so people can you know I, I and we show new stuff but to let you know like there was some old good stuff too you know what i'm saying there was some good yeah. stuff too with some good shows that you need to go back and see and uh, it's good to watch both and not just one you know what i'm saying and give props to some of the the older um black shows you know what i'm saying not and we don't just show just black shows but black shows that we used to watch as kids and that that should uh shine some light like rock in the um in the uh the sitcoms that we were showing rock needed to be he needed some light on that show you know what i'm saying so nah. shout out to Issa Rae, you know what i'm saying for that but um yeah. but we, we winding down you know what i'm saying we winding down to the uh to the end of the show see what you want to do you want to show a couple of um you know i got some i got some videos some 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 uh, like this one video inspiring video we could show you know to uh to end the show because you always want to end the show with giving people something you know what i'm saying right, giving right. them some kind of some kind of inspiration some kind of you know hope or whatever like that so um yeah leave them leave, leave them on leave them on a high note man leave them on a high note what you got i got uh let me see i got a i got a video that i seen on 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 instagram about shaq he was telling the story about his father and i'm gonna play this video you know what i'm saying and after we end the video you know what i'm saying we're gonna we're gonna end the night so uh let's play this video with, with shaq here we're playing the new york knicks and i have a terrible game and I get a call on my phone. My father he says, get your ass home right now. I don't want to talk to you. Be here tomorrow at 0500. If you don't, I'm going to knock your ass out. And I'm there at 5 a.m. He's already dressed. And we get in the car and we ride. And I was like, well, but what? Shut the hell up. We're just riding. So I come across this homeless family. And we're just looking for an hour. He said, what happened to the game yesterday? He said, man, I don't know. I let the pressure get to me. He was pissed. You spoiled mother effer making all this money you talking about pressure. This is pressure when you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Get out. There was a guy, his wife, and two kids. I can't have him laying on the street. So I went and talked to the guy. He said, look, man, I just lost my job. I just got down on some hard time. But he was, he was very dedicated. He's like, but I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. I said, uh, all right, hold on. Jake. Yeah, what's up? You still got them uh, uh, apartments that you're building? Yeah, well, I need a three-bedroom apartment today. How much? Three thousand, thirty-six thousand. I'm rewired the money. So now I got him off the streets, right? Then I asked the guy, I said, well, "What do you like to do?" He said, "Man, I do whatever." Hey Tony, you still got that lawn service? Hey, you like to cut right? You got that lawn service? I'm gonna send the guy over. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure he get paid. Whatever, I'll pay you back. So, got the guy off the street. Got him started. Two years after that, the guy started his own lawn service. He was cutting my grass in Orlando. Pressure to me is when you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Mm. I like that. I, yeah, let me say, I seen that on Instagram. I love that. I love that story for a lot of reasons because his father was letting him know, uh, basically that what he thought was pressure was it. Mm. And sometimes you lose focus when you know you stress. You get to a certain part of your life and you start stressing over things that's really a privilege to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like you might be stressing like. Oh uh, man, like uh I wasn't able to get my car clean today, or I wasn't able to I wasn't able to uh to take you know to 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 go out to eat or, or all, all the luxuries that you have for having you know being able to have money, and then you got some people that's on the street that they just they just trying to survive, you know what I'm saying? And it also showed a different light of Shaq. Shaq, everybody who knows Shaq know that Shaq is a uh is a generous person. Shaq gives a lot. I've seen Shaq right. buy wedding rings for people and all that kind of stuff. So Shaq's a generous person, but it's a, it's a it's a great message in that video to let people know like um like it's never it's never that it's never that difficult it's always somebody somewhere that's going through something worse worse than what you're going through how you feel about nah, that no nah, that's true and and i see that everybody's saying you know shaq is the man shout out to shaq and that's true for real for real but also let's let's acknowledge homeboy that took that blessing and actually did something with it you know what i'm saying because two years after giving that opportunity, he could have been back on the streets. He could have gambled, whatever. My man was owning his own lawn business and working, for, you know, cutting shacks. Shaq was his client, basically. You know what yeah. I mean? So you got to give shout out to that to that dude, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. That that That's true. You know, there's definitely a different angle to look at it because he could have just, you know, took a handout. You know, sometimes you can give somebody a whole bunch of money, but if they don't got the mindset about it, they'll be broke mm -hmm. immediately right after. You know what I'm saying? So... Shout out to them. But listen, we want to thank everybody who tuned in for tonight's show. We missed Terrence, you know what I'm saying? But Terrence definitely going to be on next week's show. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But um, we held it down for you, T. Thank you for everybody who tuned in to the show. Listen, 
on, on YouTube, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Everybody on Facebook, make sure you follow us. Make sure you share the lives. Make sure you like us and subscribe to us on YouTube because we need y'all to help us build the YouTube up to make us even more bigger than where, where, where we're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying, for tuning into the podcast. Make sure you follow us, Corey Porter Podcast. We got a lot of stuff coming. Craig Kids Forever, of course. And we got a lot of a lot of new episodes coming. But make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the link in the description of this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, make sure you guys go Valentine's Day. Go get that Azalea Vasi. You know what I'm saying? That Azalea Vasi, um, Azalea Vasi fragrance, unisex for both men and women. Trust me, if I'm telling you it smells great, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Go to the website. Go uh, and, and get your bottle for, for your lady, for, for your man, whatever you need to do. Get your bottle of Azalea Vasi fragrance and, uh, and, and make it a Valentine's Day gift for your significant other. See, do you got any, any, any closing remarks? Yo, uh, thank you, everyone, for getting on. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for participating. We truly appreciate y'all. We are only going to grow as long as you guys stay. Stay committed Absolutely. with us. Communicate with us. Share your ideas, feedback. And uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back again Tuesday. And this time, be all three of us for sure. Absolutely. So we're going to end it off. Create kids forever. Do -do 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 -do. Color skin, same color blood. Your mama may not cook like my mama does.